WCIA produced a special in 1979 that looked at the issue in depth, reported by John Paul. The debate over nuclear power is as hot as a firecracker on the 4th of July. Proponents say there are no real alternatives, and opponents say the only alternative is a major catastrophe. The state of Illinois is a leader in nuclear energy generation. This plant at Dresden was one of the first nuclear plants in the nation. Illinois now has seven nuclear reactors operating at three sites, two each at Cordova and Zion, and three working at Dresden near Morris. Other plants are being built at Byron, LaSalle, Braidwood, and of course at Clinton. In a nuclear reactor, uranium atoms split into two dissimilar atoms. In doing so, they release energy and neutrons. The neutrons react with other uranium atoms, and a chain reaction takes place, resulting in heat. The heat generates steam from surrounding water, and the steam powers a turbine, giving us electricity. Most fears concerning nuclear power plants center around the invisible, tasteless, and odorless item called radiation, a form of energy emitted from radioactive materials. The concern is that too much radiation will harm the body and that a serious accident at one of these plants will release a lot of radiation. What you have to ask yourself is, is the increased risk worth it? Here in central Illinois, a group calling itself Prairie Alliance opposes nuclear power, especially Illinois Power's Clinton Station. The group has been fighting for over two years to close that plant. Since Three Mile Island, nearly everyone has been expressing an opinion on nuclear power. Here in Illinois, Governor Thompson said he doesn't think that accident should cause Illinois to stop in its nuclear tracks. Despite a report from the State Atomic Energy Commission saying all of Illinois' nuclear plants are safe, Thompson has ordered that a master statewide nuclear response and evacuation plan be drawn up. Setting aside the debate over whether the plants are good or bad and living with the plants now in operation, the central issues become plant safety, coordination of emergency plans, and education of the public on the topic of nuclear energy. In late 1982, electricity is scheduled to start flowing from this plant. Cost estimates for Clinton's Unit 1 alone now run in the vicinity of one and a quarter billion dollars. Costs are sure to go higher if and when Unit 2 construction begins.